just in light of everything we've talked about, so, you know, what are some things that you and Richard are talking to clients about and or the kind of problems you're helping them troubleshoot in terms of program development, thinking through these problems, you know, maybe in a calmer, forward-looking way and not necessarily just in the throes of an enforcement action? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Um, really, I, I guess I'll start with just putting it plainly. It's not a brilliant sort of observation, but really what, what uh, companies are doing are taking a very hard look at their risks and their compliance efforts the, to address those risks. And, and uh, really everything flows from that. It's like the basic concept of due diligence in the human rights space. Um, and, and the extent of those efforts naturally varies a lot um, when you think about companies that are subject to current WROs um, versus other companies that um, say may have operations that touch on things that are relevant to current WROs like um, like manufacturing in China, um, connections with Xinjiang, um, Malaysia, other places. And so you, you see obviously a lot of different approaches that are that are commensurate with the risks that that companies are seeing and so really like the goals of these these efforts are first of all to make sure that you're effectively assessing and mitigating forced labor risks in 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 your company and also in your supply chain mm -hmm. 